I'm John Emmett. I'm at the Weymouth and Portland National Sailing Academy and I'm joined by the new Ilka 6 national champion. Hi. <laughs> oh, Daisy, we, we've, had a, we've had a tough week and I, I'm sure it's, uh, it's only just sunk in uh, that uh, we had 271 boats, the uh, Ilka 6, or in Old Money Radio, was the largest fleet, and you are now the best in the country this week. How are you feeling? Yeah, if, I mean, it feels pretty good and you know what, I had to work really hard for it this week and you and Ben and Seb and Mole really kept me on my toes and the racing was really, really tough, but that's what we love. We love the tight racing. So, yeah, I'm really happy to come uh, over the Especially uh, the Gulf Fleet Racing, only one day of finals. Yeah. That puts a lot of pressure on. First race did an incredible pullback job, got a yellow flag. I'm not going to not gonna ask you whether you think that was justified or not, but how did that make you feel? Um, I... I got a U flag earlier in the week and it's a one discard event so I was really really trying to not push it on the star line and it was a black flag start so I was being really conservative and then ended up getting swallowed up a bit by the fleet so I had to dig out pretty It was twice deep. as hard today as any yeah, other day. <laughs> it really was um, and then yeah I just managed to get myself back in a good position and then yeah that yellow flag happened but luckily managed to stay in fourth and then it was all down to the last race and the points were really, really close and I just tried to keep my head and make sure well, that you, I didn't panic. You did that and you know, sometimes you have to push with the starts and yeah. the yellow flags and everything to have a good race. Uh, sometimes a bad race in, is, is actually as bad as getting a U flag anyway. Yeah. Um, tell us about your build up because you've had a, a huge improvement over the last two to three years looking rock solid. And I guess it's not that long until the next Olympics. Yeah. You know what we say, the post Olympics is just the pre Olympics for the next one. Yeah, I mean, I put it down to the squad that we, we've got here. Come um, on, na name them, get, get them out yeah, there. Some are probably them, in the background. Yeah, um, so Anya, Molly, Matilda, Christine and Hannah Snellgrove. Um, we've got a really good training group here and it's just so nice to have like a group of girls working towards a common goal and we all get on really well and push each other. So, And Dre's our coach as well and he's amazing. And we've just had so much time on the water this year and I've just put it down to them and and all the training that we've been doing at the well, moment we, we had a wonderful talk yesterday by the legend that is ian percy yeah and he was reminiscing about you know when he was a, a nipper and the the group of people they had uh, all training I, I goodness knows how many olympic medals and stuff is yeah. in, in that group and that that brought almost brought a tear to my eye and it's it's so good to see the younger generation carrying on yeah um what's next um, we're going to have a, a couple of weeks off because we've had a really big block. We just we were in Marseille just before this. So um, for people who don't know, why might you be in Marseille? Ah, so that's the venue for the 2024 Olympic Games. So whilst these Olympics were happening, we were already getting ourselves ready for the next one and just doing some venue prep and getting to learn about the venue. And I mean, we had some great sailing out there. And oh, it's I'm, a fantastic yeah, venue. <laughs> I'm really, really excited to spend more time there and, and well, hopefully see how the Olympics go and well, so it's certainly easier to get to than Japan yeah. <laughs> and it's likely you're going to have a lot more days training there than most people have yeah, for Japan. Which is a massive strength um, for the European countries to be able to go out there and get some training in before the Games. So um, yeah, we're going to have some time off. Then we've got Kiel and build up towards um, the Worlds in Oman in, yeah. at the beginning nice of December. And, nice and late. Actually, the racing the racing's uh, right at the beginning of December, so it be, it's yeah. a long old year. <laughs> yeah, it's a very long year, but um, yeah, no rest for the wicked, and we just got to keep working towards well, thank, the world. Thank you so much for time. That's all right. Thanks, John. Many congratulations. <laughs> thank you very much. And I'm sure you want to get out your wetsuit now. Thanks. <laughs> thank you.